G'day everyone, welcome to the Common Parts series of videos. In this one we're going to be looking at common ICs and, um, and transistors and anything else that I've missed um, from the first two videos. We've already looked at resistors, capacitors and we've already looked at uh, ceramic capacitors as well, electrolytics and we've looked at diodes as well. Um, so this should pretty much fill it out. There's obviously other small um, bits and pieces that you could stock up on as well, um, which I'll see if I can cover as well in this video too. Um, but um, but that should, this should be a general general overview of, of, of what you can stock up on pretty, pretty safely, uh, in my opinion at least. So let's take a look at the um, ICs and the transistors now. So once again we're moving over to my parts box because um, this is where all the action happens. Um, now I'll just go through these and tell you which ones I think you should stock up on. I wouldn't bother with any of the CD chips because um, basically you only need those when you need them and there's only a few things that you actually use them so I wouldn't bother with that. PT2399 if you're in, in, into doing a delay you could definitely buy a few of those. Um, you probably only need maybe three for, the, for your, li your lifetime depending on how many you're building of course but three on hand would be would be handy to have around. Um, the TLs are, are used quite commonly. TL 71 and 72 are used uh, quite a bit. You could stock up on those without too much trouble. Wouldn't bother with the ICL 8038. That's a specialty chip you only ever use in one pedal that I can think of that's got it. It's probably more, but yeah, um, only one that I can think of. Same with the ICM uh, 7555. I actually got that in specifically for a build that I was doing and I thought I'd get a few extra just for the store. Um, TL 06 22 is not as popular as the T1, uh, 71 and 72. I think, I can't think of any that actually use it um, offhand. I know they do, there's some that do, but I'm, I, I'm not too sure about the commonness of that one. I, I can tell you I don't sell many of them either, so I don't think they are very, very common. And then the TL074 is used quite a bit as well, so they fit in the ca category of the 71 and 72. Now, MN3101 is good for pretty much if you're thinking about doing a vintage chorus or a vintage uh, delay um, or phasers use them as well as a timing chip. And um, um, yeah, it's used a bit in conjunction with MN3008 and MN3007. The MN3007 is a short delay, the MN3008 is a longer delay. The, the 3007 is used for choruses and I think flanges as well and the MN3008 is used for um, uh, uh, delays, um, delays, uh, BBD delays. So that's those two. If you're thinking about doing um, another one, a phaser, um, using um, uh, a 3080, then you want to get some of those. Also the Ross compressor uses one as well. Um, so um, you could get a couple of those, but you, these, these ones that I've just mentioned are all in the vintage category, so you've got to be careful um, because you can get stung with fakes or ones that just don't work. Um, but yeah, that's really, if you're going to do a Ross compressor or a small stone, then that would be one that you'd want to get a few of. These aren't particularly stock up belt, um, parts, but they are used occasionally, so um, that's why I'm mentioning them. TDA 7052A is an extinct dinosaur. Good luck finding those. I think you can still get them in the salvage market. Um, um, and there's only one project I know that uses that, which is the Punch Amp, or my spin on that, which is the Chime Amp. Um, it's a it's an amplifier chip <clears throat> drives a speaker or headphones it's pretty pretty good chip but um, yeah it went out of production shortly after I came up with the chime out PCB which is a bit of a bugger so up here we've got charge pumps you got TC1044 and the LT1054 everyone has their preferences I like these two um, the LT1054 is for high current and, T and the TC1044 is for low current so I, generally I use TC1044 for um, fuzzes um, and LT1054 for modulations and things like that, like an FSH, um, you'd, need a, you'd need a 1054 for that. Um, so a couple of those, a couple of those wouldn't go astray. You'd probably end up using them, I'm sure. LM358N is used occasionally. I'd probably stock up on them. The RC4558 is used all the time. You could get 10 of those and you'll, you'll end up going through them, even, when, even in modulate. <coughs> Excuse me. Even in modulation um, pedals and things like that, sometimes they've got an amplifier on board and they use a RC4558. It's kind of like the go-to. Um, it's a cheap chip and it's used quite a lot. And then at the top you've got, let's pick up the camera, sorry for the wonkiness. 
You've got um, 4580, um, RC4580, which is used occasionally um, for amplification as well um, in some overdrives and things like that. Um, not as popular as that one, um, the 4558, but used every now and then. Um, you could get a couple of those without too much worry, I'd imagine. So it's also a good idea to stock up on some sockets. Um, you've got different pins. Um, obviously, that's going to fit a eight-pin socket. You want to you want to stock up on those the most, and then 14 and 16 pin. You can get some of those as well um, for your ICs because you probably use those all the time. And get some strips of um, sockets as well. The um, single inline strips. You'll use those too for transistors and things like that. So moving on to the tran the transistors. Um, this, the 2N5089 is used occasionally. Um, it's not as common as the 2N5088, which is used a lot. Um, and the, 20, the, the 2N5087 is used quite a bit as well. So in order of, um, of, of commonness, you'd go the, the 5088, 5087, 5089. You use them all the time, the 5088s. You also use 2N3904s quite a lot, and 2N3906s a fair bit as well. Um, those two are also common. 2N7000s, you don't use that often. That's more of a specialty sort of thing. And MPSA13, you use quite a bit too. That's a pretty, pretty popular one as well. The um, S9013 is a cheap MPN, um, which I just stocked up on because I got them cheap. Um, and um, it's an it's a low gain MPN. Um, it's not something that you'd stock you'd bother stocking up on. It's not something you'd use quite uh, at all. The BS one hundred and seven you use sometimes. Um, that's you'd want, probably want to get a few of those. The seven eight L zero five is a volt, five volt regulator and often used with um, in conjunction with the PT two three double nine. So if you're going to get some of those delay chips, you might want to get a couple of these as well. Um, it regulates the five volts into the um, into the chip that it needs. And then you've got the JFETs. And now in the JFETs, I don't use through hole anymore. I don't know if anyone does, unless you've stocked up on them, you're not going to be able to get any. So I'm going to show you what we've got in in the way of um, what I've what I sell. Um, the J201s you use a lot. The five the five four five sevens you use a bit too. Now see if I, my memory serves me correctly here on the on the rest. I don't think any of these three you use very often, so um, I don't know if I'd bother stocking up on those. Um, it's not one that's worth worth bothering about. But the other two, I definitely buy a few of those, and some of the the um, the adapter boards with them, so that you can solder onto the adapter board, which I'm just going to grab now, um, and um, and then you'll have all your um, fets that you need, and you know they're <clears throat> they're not fake or you know out of spec or anything that they're going to work properly. Um, that's the boards. That's an option on my web store if you buy the MMBFs. Um, you can add a board as well um, and then solder it onto that. So what's left, I guess you could probably get some LEDs. I've got five different ones. They're just economy LEDs, just the cheap ones. Nothing special. Um, you could get some of those. Um, I'm not gonna talk about anything like this because that's hardware and I can do a video. If you guys like these three videos, I can do one on hardware as well, um, but it's not of any importance to us. Um, so LEDs you could definitely stock up on and the bezel, I don't know if we're going to hardware territory here, but the bezels for them as well. The VTL5C3, sorry it's a bit difficult for me to stretch up here, um, is used a bit. If you're going to get a Vactral you would probably want to get that one, it's the one that's used the most, um, the 5C3. The 5C1, 5C2 and 5C6 aren't used that often, so don't bother with those. They're expensive, so I don't know if you'd be stocking up on too many of them. You probably only need a couple of those, um, but there's a number of projects that use them. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it, um, and I uh, hope it was helpful. If there's anything I've missed or anything you disagree with that you think maybe is commonly used that I've, that I've missed or that I've said isn't commonly used, um, leave it in the comments below. Um, discuss down, down below the video um, on what you think. Um, I've, I should have included or that you disagree with. Um, I'd be interested to see what everyone thinks. Um, if there's something perhaps on my web store that you, that you think I should stock, that um, you think would be used a lot or that you just wish I had, um, you can leave it in the comments too and I'll, look, I'll definitely look into it. I've stocked things, things before for other people um, that they've, haven't been common, they've just been sort of like a, a quite uncommon um, chip or transistor or whatever, I've put that on there specifically for them um, and I'm happy to do that. Um, if I can get them at the right price and I can make it work, I'll definitely do it. 
Um, so leave, leave suggestions below um, as far as that goes. So yeah, hope it helped and thanks for watching these videos and don't forget to subscribe for more. Cheers.